Here are five hacks to stop spam texts on your iPhone. Now you'll see here, Americans receive over 640 spam texts every single day. If you're one of these and you get spam texts, maybe 10, 20, 50 spam texts every single day, I'm gonna show you how to stop them. But first, hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now, first we can go into the messages app on your iPhone. Now, if you get specific spam text from one number that keeps texting you, it's easy to stop those. All you need to do is tap on that specific spam text. You can see here it says, hi, my name is Patricia. I'm a recruiter for Miramax. And you can see this phone number is a funky phone number. I'm in the United States and it's some random international phone number. Again, obviously this is a spam text. Now you'll be able to see at the very bottom, if you've updated to iOS 26, there is the report spam. If you did not expect this message from an unknown sender, it may be spam. All I need to do is hit report spam and then it will say this will be reported to AT&T, which is my carrier. And again, it will just report it to whatever carrier you have and Apple. So I can hit delete and report spam. Now I can go into any of the other ones like this one as well. Again, hit report spam, delete and report spam. So this is really helpful if you're getting individual text messages from one person or a spammer and you want to block or report those. However, let's say you wanted to do it across the board. The easiest way to do that is to go into the settings app of your phone. So open up the settings app of your phone. We're gonna scroll down to the bottom and tap on apps and then scroll down until we get to messages here to get to your message settings. Now within the message settings of your iPhone, there are a number of really helpful tools to help reduce those spam text messages that everybody gets. What we're gonna do is scroll down from here and a couple of things we will turn on. You can see unknown senders, screen unknown senders. It says hide notifications and move messages to the unknown senders list. So I'll show you what this looks like. If I turn this on, I can choose to allow notifications from time sensitive things like alerts or verification codes, stuff like that. So sometimes I turn this on. And then everything else, you can choose whether to turn those on or leave those off if you don't want notifications for these specific text messages from businesses, receipts, stuff like that. Now let's go back out here. And you can also tap on text message filtering and then choose text message filter. I'll show you what this looks like. Let's hop out of here and open up messages. And now what you'll find at the very top right is a little filter icon. I can tap on that filter icon, and now you can see unknown senders, transactions, promotions, spam, etc. If I go to spam here, you can see all of these text messages. Again, random Coinbase withdrawal codes. I don't even have a Coinbase account, etc. These are all spam, and it just puts them in here. Now, I would also recommend going back into your settings. Let's go back and turning on filter spam. It says hide notifications and move messages to the spam list. Essentially, if this recognizes your iPhone or at t or whatever carrier you have, recognizes that it is spam text, it will automatically filter it. Keep in mind, this doesn't delete it. You can always go back into your messages here and go to the filters and just go to the spam section or any of these other places and see them but they won't show up in your normal messages and bother you and they won't pop up as a notification. Now, these are some great options, but that's not the only thing that I would recommend. Now on here, I would also recommend just typing into a web browser, report fraudulent texts. Now you can see there are two different options to report those to the FTC or Federal Trade Commission. One is that you can forward the text messages to 7726, and this will report it to the government. This is kind of if it's really egregious or a big spam or something that maybe you were even a victim of and you wanted to report it to the government, to the authorities for them to investigate. Again, you can forward that text message to 7726, 
or you can tap on this link ftc.gov forward slash complaint. However, you'll notice on here right now, there is a government shutdown and you can see currently this web page is shut down and you can't report anything. So hopefully by the time you're watching this, the government is back up and running and you'll be able to report those fraudulent text messages. Now, after going through all of these steps, if you're still getting fraudulent text messages or spam texts, there is one final ace up your sleeve. What we're gonna do is tap on the app store here. And within the app store, all we need to do is type in spam and type on spam text. Now you can see a bunch of different options here to cut out all of those spam text messages. I would recommend RoboKiller or TrueCaller. Those are two great options. You can see if I tap on it, it currently has 411,000 ratings, 4.5 stars, and it stops 99% of robocalls, so spam calls, as well as spam texts. Now, all you need to do is tap on the little install button, and I'll show you what this looks like. Let's wait until it installs and open it up. Now, keep in mind, you can pay for this, but there's also a completely free option. So you just enter in your phone number here, hit verify. They will send you a code to text and then you can just choose later. You don't necessarily need to enter in your email. And now hit continue, and continue, and continue, and continue. Now on here, you can see here it says, do you wanna pay yearly or weekly? But you don't have to do this. You can just opt for the free version just by tapping on that little X at the top left, it's fairly hidden, just tap on that. And now on here, you do need to turn on a few things. So tap on contacts access, hit continue and share all. Microphone access, hit allow. Notification access, hit allow. Now, after you've done that, keep in mind, you'll basically go through this process of setting everything up. Again, you don't necessarily need to fill in any of these information or data, and you don't necessarily need to sign up. But after going through this entire process, you'll be able to see that app is on your iPhone and it will again catch 99% of all spam calls and text messages.